Hey guys, Eric Gould for Tech View Now. Uh, we are looking at this cool electric bike that uh, Hung is, uh, and his team is developing. Uh, they just launched it on Kickstarter, I think, last night. Yep. And last night. Uh, I am a, well, you can't tell anymore, but I am a, I'm a bicyclist, and I love bicycling. I've bicycled all around the world. I've competed uh, in competitions, and I love this thing. I love the way it looks. Tell me what you guys were planning on doing and how you came up with the idea for this. Sure. So I think your story, it seems like, Everybody loves bikes, right? We all rode them as kids. We all enjoyed it. It's one of the most fun things you can do as a child. But then everybody stops. Like where we are in Palo Alto, 44% of kids ride to school. Like that's awesome. That's a really high percentage, right? But as adults, it's probably less than 4%. Really? Right? Uh -huh. But we call this the Coben because it's named after Copenhagen. In Copenhagen, 47% of the population still rides their bike. So what happens? We're kids. We love it. But as we get older, we get a little lazy or yeah, it's not fast it's enough. inconvenient. So the idea is here is to take kind of the fun of the ride yep. and uh, with the electricity, just give it a little bit of extra kick. It's a lot of extra kick, but yeah, the whole point is to make a fun bike. And if we make a fun bike that looks good, that's affordable, more people will get out there and more people will ride. So how is this, I mean, usually when I think of an electric bike, I think of it being real heavy and big. Yep. This is not that. So yep. what, what was the genius behind this? How did you manage that? Yeah, literally there's one genius behind all of this and that's Neil. Neil's my co-founder and CTO. He developed this battery and it's patented. We're, we're, we're talking about this guy right yeah, here? Yeah, this is the battery. Like it's a tiny, small, like it's the smallest, lightest battery on the market. Usually, you know, e-bikes are big and heavy and clunky. They'll have like a big, huge battery pack here or like a rack with a big, huge battery pack here. And you know, they have to build it that way because the batteries are, you know, big and bulky. Mm -hmm. uh, Neil's invented a way to make batteries smaller and lighter and still be very, very powerful. So once we had the battery technology, it was patented uh, late last year. Mm -hmm. And that's when we started working on the bikes. And yeah. We can build a much better bike just because we have a much better battery. So the real thing here is you, it, what, I, what I looked at and we talked about a little before mm -hmm. we got on cameras that these are all parts from commercial bikes. There's not there's nothing here that's new yep. with the exception of that battery. Right. You just kind of went around to the market and picked the best of the world to, to make it happen. Yeah. So again, we don't think of Karmic is a, an electric bike company. We're just a bike. It's a, it's a bike, but it's a better bike because of the battery. Um, mm -hmm. Everything is a standard bike part. Like everything except the battery and the motor and the wiring and controllers. Those are all you know part of any electric bike. But anything else, you know, seat, seat posts, um, the tires, brakes, the brakes. Yeah. Everything mm -hmm. is a standard bike part. Well, so um, with that, mm -hmm. I mean, this is a standard part, but you don't see that in that many bicycles. Right. I've seen this. Tell us a little bit about the drive system. Yeah, the Navinci. Um, Continuously variable transmission is a really nice piece. It's a you don't see it a lot because it's a very expensive item. Uh, it retails for about 500 just for the hub, mm -hmm. and then you have to build a wheel around it and everything like that. Um, what it does though is it gives you really smooth power, and it works really well with our electric motor. So there's no. no let me just stop you here for a second. Yep. So variable speed, as, as 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 we do later on, we'll get some close-ups in mm -hmm. here. Is that there there are no gears. It's all built into this guy here. Yeah. So you still have a wide range of gearing, but it's all built internally in the hub. So it makes it really easy, like maintenance free essentially. Uh, it doesn't skip, it doesn't jump around, nothing's hanging out to like get caught or like break. Uh, everything's inside. Okay, now if everything's inside and all that, how much power is it gonna give me? I mean, what type of kick am I gonna feel from this? Yeah, so the power comes from the motor and our motors are rated at 250 watts or 350 watts. Uh, and to put that in perspective, a kind of a, a regular person on a bike puts out about 50 watts. By themselves, just By kind themselves, of just pedaling. coming so, around. Even at a 250 watt uh, motor, it's five times what you normally would. Well, ride. 250, from my understanding, 250 is like a, almost a bike, not the top racer, but guy, yeah, pretty, like pretty good. Like a really fit cyclist will do about 250 watts in a race. Now, how long will this go for? I mean, I'm gonna if I, do, and by the way, how do I make it go faster? Sure. So it's again really simple. Just a bike. You want to go faster, you pedal faster. Uh, you use a higher gear, but nothing else changes. There's no throttle. There's no buttons. There's nothing that you have to fiddle. Seriously. With. Yeah. So you just get on, you ride. Um, so if I'm pedaling harder, it's going to go faster. Mm -hmm. So how and does the it motor helps you? But how does it know? How does it know that? It's kind of sure. Yeah. So it has two sensors. One is the wheel speed sensor, and one is a cadence sensor. Cadence is like just how fast you're spinning. Mm -hmm. um, how, how fast this is spinning. How fast the pedals are moving. Okay. So your revolutions per minute. Um, it measures the two, and then it decides how much power to give you. And what it will always do is it will ramp in power smoothly, so you never feel like you're riding, and then the bike just kind of takes off, mm. which is like a lot of old e-bikes are that way. This always feels like you're in control, and it just feels like you riding a bike, but way better. Other people want to put throttles, they want to sit on a bike and hold the button and not really pedal. Mm -hmm. 
for me as a cyclist, as somebody who's ridden for 20 years, like that's not really a bike. So the battery is this special sauce yep. here. Tell me a little bit more about what makes it so special. The best thing about the battery is it's, just, it's fully recyclable. It's the only battery in the world that's a sustainable design. Meaning after three, about, about three to five years, most e-bike batteries and even cars, mm -hmm. uh, their packs don't hold the charge as well. Mm -hmm. You might notice that with your phones and things like that. Sure, yeah. Absolutely. What happens is people like change them out or throw them out. Um, even a Tesla in three to five years, you have to get rid of that battery pack. The, the, Tesla, the Tesla is not recyclable? Not, no. We're, really? We're the only one in the world that can fully recycle a, a electric battery pack. Yeah, wow. It's patented, like Tesla does not have this technology. Mm -hmm. So what we do do is we'll sell you this pack. It comes with the bike, obviously, when you, when you buy it. But in five years or however long you want, it comes with a lifetime rebuildable warranty. Mm. So when it comes time to change the battery, instead of buying a new one for $500, $600, $700, $800, you send it back to us and we'll rebuild it with brand new cells. Really? For half the price. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Now, it's how heavy is it? Because it, it feels, it's lighter than, you know, it's not even, it's, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. I mean, what's, what's the weight on this? So this one with the hub, that new Vinci hub adds about five pounds. So this one's about 37 pounds. Um, I've built this one as light as 30 pounds, but that's kind of super high-end parts. Uh, just, um, just you went crazy with that? Yeah. You I mean, drilled holes and things or no, something? No, we didn't drill holes. We just used like, you know, Chris King wheels and like some okay. carbon fiber here, here and there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm a bike guy, so I want my bikes to be uh, nice. I but mean, you did some beautiful work up our here. Our production bikes will still be around 36 pounds, which is about this weight, mm -hmm. uh, really light. So I, I, it's enough, I can pick it upstairs if I oh need yeah, to get for upstairs. Sure. For sure. Along the other way of the battery. And the other thing too, do we do make the battery removable. So most people won't have the luxury of like a place to put the bike inside their apartments if you live in a tiny apartment in San Francisco. Um, so you leave this in the garage or you leave it downstairs, you can lock the bike up and just take the battery with you. Okay, now we talked earlier, right now you have it locked in permanently, yep. but you're in the, in the process of developing a way that I'll be able to, what, yeah. what, what kind of, what will it be? Some sort of latch that I'll open and close? Yeah, it's, it's, like it's a quick basically a bracket, a bracket that goes on uh, the bike and then it's sort of like a quick release, yeah. Uh, on that way. Uh, so t a lot of people will get a close up of it later, mm -hmm. But th this style brakes is uh, kind of new for a lot of people. Mm. Can you, even though I know it's commercial, can you tell me a little about it? Because yeah. stopping it, I mean, you're going to go so fast, do we have to go worry about stopping? Yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure. So a lot of e-bikes, again, they design it differently. They think about kind of like take a regular bike and throw a bunch of stuff on it to throw a motor on it, throw a battery on it. And then that's why you have batteries all over the place because they're just trying to find a place to fit on mm -hmm. a regular bike. Um, for us, like safety is a huge concern, right? Yeah. One, we talk to tons of customers we talked to we did you know our user research like everybody else does we talked to a lot of people who want a bike but they don't and the main reason is safety that is the number one reason what are they afraid ride. it's going to go too fast of safety of what just safety in general of, of cycling oh okay so uh, particularly with e-bikes though you do have a higher average speed you do have a higher top speed people who aren't as in shape as a you know professional cyclist can go just as fast and they might not have the skills to you know stay in traffic and avoid you know, accidents as quickly. So we spec all our bikes with disc brakes. Disc brakes are standard. We don't, we don't say you know, the high-end bike gets a disc brake and the low-end bike gets regular caliper brakes like a lot of brands do. Uh, we think safety is really important. So disc brakes on both bikes. Um, the high-end bike does get hydraulic disc brakes, which are nicer. They, they stop smoother. They feel better. Um, you can do one finger stops. Um, but you know, disc brakes have been in use for 10 years. Oh yeah, I mean, in the mountain they're bike beautiful. world. Mm -hmm. It's just very few people use it in the city and the road bikes and, and things like that. You're starting to see more road bikes get disc brake too, um, but we think it's definitely the best way to do it. No, I always think of disc brakes on going screaming down the mountain. Yeah. All those bikes have it that yeah. way. So th th the shifter here is, is pretty cool mm -hmm. too. So uh, tell me a little about the shifter. Sure, the shift, uh, this is one of the neatest parts about the bike. The shifter, again, controls the internal gear hub in the back, but instead of like all these configurations of like, are you on the big ring, small ring, big gear, small gear, like all these combinations that you have to keep in your head. This is a really simple interface where it just has a flat, like it's a little UI of a guy on a bike. I love it. Flat I mean, yeah. on the flat. And then if you're in the hills, then you make it look like you're going on the hills. And that, just that small action right here with the shifter changes the gearing inside that hub. No, I didn't hear anything. Is nope. that because it's not moving? No, you can see it moving, but it's silent. I mean, it's basically- Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. the bike is, mostly silent so when you ride it I, I pass people all the time in the bike lanes and they can't figure out what's going on because it's just you know an old guy like riding straight up um but that's the beauty of an e-bike all right so it's on kickstarter you launched just a couple of days ago yep. yesterday yes so what's gonna what's well, tell me a little about the kickstarter campaign what are people going to do to contribute and when can they get one yeah of these? so the kickstarter campaign is to help us order the first 
batch of production. Mm -hmm. um, we're working with a really good factory, uh, but you know they have minimum order quantities. Like we're really small compared to some of these big brands that order hundreds and thousands of bikes at a time. So we have to get enough people interested to purchase our initial order. On Kickstarter, it's uh, it's going to be fourteen ninety nine. Mm -hmm. And so people can back us today and get a bike in a few months okay. uh, when we get them from the factory. But we won't put in the order unless we get a certain number. Of so course. That's why, yeah. that's why we're doing Kickstarter instead of a traditional you know, fundraising. So what's the risks here for people? I mean, for you, mm -hmm. the battery you, you developed a while ago, yep. you got a patent on it. Uh, your partner's worked for one of the biggest bicycle companies in the world. He's also the founder of Zero Motorcycles. I did not know that. Yeah. Okay, so the guy knows. So you got a good team. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I think we have the great team. <laughs> okay, we're <laughs> good to great. Uh, so, what's the risk here? I mean, what 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 do you guys got? What do you have to figure out before you ship these? Yeah. So there have been a lot of chatter about you know crowdfunding and e-bikes in general. There's a big campaign that went up, and it's questionable whether or not they'll actually do anything, and you know whether people are out their money. So for us, we've done all our homework up front. Uh, you know, Neil and I both have started companies before. We've both had successful companies before. So, you know, our reputation kind of should help people feel a little bit more, more comfortable. But even beyond that, uh, we got our battery Dragon certified. We got our whole bike Dragon certified. Really? And, and Dragon certified is a company that helps hardware companies mm -hmm. get their products to market. So they work with companies like Pebble, Cool is Cooler, um, MakerBot. Like they work with everybody. But we did that in advance. Usually people, you know, they raise money and then they'll go to Dragon Innovation Absolutely, to like yeah, sure. help us make this. Uh -huh. We did it in advance because we want to make sure that anybody who backs us can feel confident that we'll deliver a bike. So Dragon Innovation went through, certified everything, said that we can deliver at the price, at the time that we said we will. So if our campaign does kick over our amount, we will definitely make the bike and we will definitely deliver the bike. Sounds terrific. Let's go take it for a ride. Cool. Hey guys, Eric Gould here. I am about to take a ride on a Coben for my very first time. Uh, let's see how this goes. So I'm going to get on. I'm on. <laughs> Pedaling? <laughs> oh my! That is a blast! Let me just try this. <laughs> I've raced bikes. This has to be one of the most fun things that I've ever done. You need to get a Coben, get them quick. Oh my! <laughs> Hey guys, Eric Gould, TechViewNow.com. I was going 22 miles an hour out there. This is amazing. This is a fun bike. Get one today uh, because I'm keeping this one. 